Spotting the Bite, Sandfly vs. Mosquito. Hello everyone! Today, we're going to delve into the world of insect bites, specifically focusing on two culprits that can leave quite a mark, the sandfly and the mosquito. These critters are more than just a nuisance, they can also transmit diseases. So, being able to tell their bites apart is not just useful, it's crucial. Let's explore the key differences between a sandfly bite and a mosquito bite. What does a mosquito bite look like? Mosquitoes are common worldwide, and their bites are, unfortunately, a familiar experience for many of us. A mosquito bite generally appears as a small, round, puffy bump that soon becomes hard, red, and swollen. It typically starts itching right away, and the itchiness can last from a few hours to a few days. In some cases, especially if you've been bitten multiple times in the same area, the bites can develop into larger areas of swelling and redness. This reaction is due to the mosquito saliva, which it injects into your skin before feasting on your blood. What does a sandfly bite look like? On the other hand, sandfly bites, also known as sand flea or sandfly bites, can look and feel quite different. Sandfly bites often manifest as red, itchy bumps or blisters, sometimes with a red halo around them. They may not start itching immediately but can become extremely itchy after a day or so. The itching from sandfly bites tends to be more intense than that of mosquito bites and lasts longer, often up to a week or more. The bites can sometimes evolve into small ulcerations that take even longer to heal. Sandflies, like mosquitoes, inject saliva into the skin when they bite, which triggers an immune response and results in the symptoms we see and feel. What are the major differences? Now that we know what each bite looks like, let's outline the main differences. 1. Onset of itching. Mosquito bites usually itch immediately, whereas sandfly bites might not start itching until a day later. 2. Intensity and duration of itching. The itching from a mosquito bite is milder and shorter lived than that from a sandfly bite, which tends to be more intense and can last a week or more. 3. Appearance. While both bites initially appear as small, red bumps, sandfly bites can develop a red halo and potentially progress into small ulcers. Remember, though, that everyone's immune system reacts differently, so your bites might not look or feel exactly like someone else's. In conclusion, knowing the differences between a mosquito and a sandfly bite can help you understand what bit you, how to treat it, and whether to watch out for possible diseases. Please remember that if your symptoms persist or worsen over time, it's important to seek medical attention. We hope this video has shed some light on the distinctive traits of these two insect bites. Stay safe out there and keep those bugs at bay!